Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about 3D Space Mouse. And it looks something like this. If you've never seen it, I've only just recently really started using them, but I love it. And if you're interested, um, I want to show you how to use it with Blender. So once you come in here inside your Blender, I'm going to take my regular mouse and just click up on the shading option just to kind of give it a better look here. And now I'm switching to my 3D Space Mouse. And so the 3D Space Mouse is just going to let you move your view around very cool and it's kind of stuttering a little bit so i'm going to switch to maybe this this material preview and just kind of move so i'm just twisting the space mouse and it's moving up and down i'm lifting up i'm lifting down so essentially i don't have to integrate with <laughs> integrate with the keyboard i can just uh use the mouse to kind of float around like a like a camera and i'm a filmmaker so this is really fun to me i can like zoom in and look at things it's just it's it's just great and it does take quite a bit of time or for me it took a few days to really like really kind of understand you know how to work this thing i'm still getting used to it but i want to show you the settings um and how to set this up in blender so i'm using a 3d connection mouse so in your settings you want to have it set up like this here. And so I go to advanced settings. So you should, your settings should be somewhat set like this, the pan and zoom, these two checked here. And under buttons, you can actually change your, there's little buttons right here and right here. You can change those to be whatever you want. I usually just do uh, the left for shift and for control. So when I'm sculpting, um, it's really easy to change those. Um, so yeah, so that's how I have it set up on the kind of the mouse settings. And inside of Blender, if you go to preferences, inside your input right here, you have the tablet, which if you're using a tablet, you can set up there. And then under here, we have NDOF, and that is your 3D Space Mouse uh, settings. So for the pin set sensitivity, it's usually set to four. I just dropped it down to, to one, just so it'd be a little, uh, not as fast. And then I have the orbit sensitivity set to one, and you can change these however fast you want uh, your Space Mouse to feel. I didn't change anything with the dead zone. And for navigation, we have it set to orbit. Rotation, we have to turntable. And then I just unchecked all these, and usually these are lit up. Uh, but I just unchecked all of those and no checks down here. So make sure your settings look somewhat like that. You may have to play with them a little bit, uh, but you know, to each his own on their 3D Space Mouse adventures. Uh, but just make sure you save your preferences. And then once you go back into Blender, you should be able to use your Space Mouse to fly around and do crazy fun stuff. So uh, again, this is more of an advanced lesson, but I just wanted to show people uh, how to use it because I had a lot of trouble setting it up in Blender when I first started. So hopefully that helps. And it does take some practice. Um, so if you are using one of these for like sculpting, or I just use it all the time, really. Uh, but uh, it uh, definitely has a learning curve. So, so that's all I have for this lesson. Let's go ahead and jump into the next section where we're going to talk about your object mode and edit mode and just go over some of the basics. Let's keep on going.